Overnight line movers, the best place to check those lines moving, sbrodds.com, 24-7, 365. Get these movers. And how about this, Teddy? Indians drawing support early Wednesday. We are Bieber believers as we see Bieber and Weber on the mound today. And if we take a look at the odds here, Red Sox favored by minus 105, a total of nine after an implosion in the bullpen yesterday. Let's see if those Red Sox can, excuse me, Red Sox can get it back today. Sure. And, of course, the markets are going to react to the advanced metric stats. We talk about this every day. We'll talk about it again today. Why do they like Shane Bieber? Two stats. More than 11 strikeouts per nine inning. The markets love the guy who's getting strikeouts, and Bieber's got that. And his home run rate is very high so far this season. It's abnormally high. So they're expecting a, a, a return to normalcy, and, and that home run rate is likely to drop. Of course, Weber uh, came out and threw uh, six innings of three-hit, one-run ball against Toronto in his first big league start last week. But we're not talking about a top prospect. He's bounced around in the minors since 2009. He's bounced around on five different teams in the majors since 2015. Uh, the market's not high on him, and they love Bieber for Cleveland. Hence, all the Indians' money. Cubs flip to a favor versus the Astros, and we're getting all this injury information. Almost seems like it doesn't matter who goes down next man in line, similar to what the New York Yankees are doing. But the market seem to be fading Miley a bit, a bit today. Astros plus 101, total of nine. Hendricks and Miley on the mound, as I said. A lot of injuries mounting up for those Houston Astros, but they keep chugging along here. Yeah, I mean, Altuve and Correa obviously out uh, right now. Diaz has been out uh, for a while, though. Chris Bryant's a question mark for the Cubs uh, in today's game. But there's no question that the markets do not like Wade Miley, period. You know, and of course, you know, Miley's 6-2 and two against the Cubs. He shut him down a couple of times last year with the Brewers. Uh, but... You know, uh, coming off a performance in which he had a season-high eight strikeouts, one run, four hits, two walks. Uh, I mean, he's been really good. But Miley has a low strikeout rate. That means his XFIP is a full run higher than his ERA. The markets don't like that. Kyle Hendricks, you know, season-high nine strikeouts. Was it a season-high? I don't know. He had nine strikeouts last time in only six innings. And the markets love the pitchers who are getting those strikeouts. Hence, Hendricks taking the money, Miley not taking the money and Chicago being the popular choice for the ESPN game tonight. Baltimore, Teddy, shut down yesterday, and they open up here on SBRodds.com, 142, 147. And breaking news, Teddy, people are fading the Orioles at that high number. Now we see a minus 145 drop all the way down to a minus 115. It's Carpenter, who has dreadful numbers versus means. Total of 10. Maybe we get some offense today down there in the Charm City. Yeah, I mean, you know, Tigers are 0-3 for Carpenter. They've lost those three games 29-8. to <laughs> You know, all three of them blows. But last time out, only two hits and no walks allowed was certainly the better of his three starts. Of course, the Tigers are hitting lefties, and the Orioles aren't in this matchup of Southpaw versus Southpaw. Detroit hitting uh, lefties better than they hit righties. Baltimore significantly worse uh, against opposing uh, left-handers. But this is a lot to do with means. You know, the market's not really excited about him. 2.96 ERA, yes, but the XFIP is over five. He's got a low strikeout rate and a low ground ball rate. And the pitchers that have those two stats together, you can count on them getting faded when they're minus 145 chalk uh, like the Orioles were at the Open today.